Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you've all been doing good. Welcome back to Joe Basin Woodworking and DIY. So uh, today I have another tool review for you guys. Well, some might call it a tool, some might not. Uh, shout out to Algo Lasers for sending me their DIY laser kit. Um, they asked me to do an unbiased, you know, first impression review on it. And say I'm pretty impressed with what it can do so far. And I'm only like 10% into what it can do. Um, have an app, the Algo Laser app. I was unable to get it working. It got up to like 40% and then it would just stop. Uh, a buddy of mine that's more tech savvy after a few days, he said it's probably because my tablet's outdated and you know, just it just wasn't working. So, um, but if you have an Apple Mac or Apple uh, Mac uh, laptop or Windows 10 software, it's literally plug in the USB into your laptop, plug in the type C to the uh, laser engraver the motherboard on it and install the light burn 1.4 software which you have to do anyways and you're good to go so i will shut up now and show you guys what's what with it okay so here we have the algo laser diy 400 mil by 400 mil laser engraver um, the assembly is really easy they have a video on their youtube channel i'll put links down in the description for it um, but really all you got to do is just put two screws in here two screws in there screw in this little uh like you know stop screw in that little stop screw in the motherboard two screws um plug in this cable plug in that cable that wheels on the top and bottom so before you're done screwing this and this on keep this unscrewed you just slide this on and then screw these in uh, mess around with it till you can get it to you know slide back and forth pretty easily you know screw in that washer and the screw and it's good to go um, again they do have the algo laser app but I was unable to get it installed I, I just could not do it and I didn't want to wait any longer to put this video out so uh, you can get a uh, an optional vacuum pump with a hose to suck up all the ashes and stuff like that um, I am using an air filtration system the AC infinity and I just put it on full blast and it just sucks up all the smoke and not the ashes but every once in a while you gotta take off this little box and tap out the ashes but yeah for the most part it's uh it's it's an awesome uh little laser engraver i like it i'll put links down for their website uh in the description below since i have an apple mac all i have to do you have to install lightburn software anyways but all i have to do is plug it into usb turn on the laser it comes with two keys that's the emergency stop and she's up and running and you just literally just plug it into here here in order to get the laser running you want to click on this and go to usb modem and make sure it's on usb modem and not auto then this pops up your laser calibrates and then you're ready to roll you're ready to engrave i close all this out and you can like I said, I've been using it for a month. I'm like 10% into what the capabilities of it actually is. You can set up these windows, put them wherever you want. You know, it's all just click and drag, click the, click the middle roll wheel and drag it. I like the way this is. Uh, it's 400 by 400 mil. You can, you can convert it into inches. Um, I've converted mine into inches in America. But um, let's see, I have some files downloaded. Let's go to import. I'll do this. Just click on the arrow um, if you want to do text obviously you click on a and this is a cool thing about labor and everything you click on it tells you what it is you know but for as far as this goes I always click on the arrow click on that so that selects it then you want to click on cut selected graphics optimize the cut path that's how I have it anyways and then the frame for square and circle is for this reason right here check this out and that way you can adjust it to your X, Y, and center. And the cool thing about it is you can make it so there's a late so the laser turns on when it's tracing out, you know, your 
frame of where it's going to be cutting and then you know that you're good to go right click on the mouse go to preview it'll show you and tell you how long it'll take and if you click play I have this at 40 times the speed you can adjust the speed but it'll show you the cut path of the laser so yeah and the way to adjust the height with the laser is take this put it on your piece that you're cut you're gonna be engraving and then you unscrew these two pins lower this down it's on a sliding dovetail it a little bit more and you just simply pull up and pull down and then once the bottom of that hits this lip and you just tighten up your screws pull that out from underneath and then you know you're at the right distance underneath the laser and you know your laser won't get hung up or caught on it at all and I kind of like that it's easy for setting up so let's make a cut and um, see what's what and another thing you want to do too is uh, always keep an eye on your battery unless you're plugged into your charger can't even tell you how many times I've had something fail because the battery died <laughs> as far as what speed and stuff you want to go with and how dark you want it to cut that's where you would adjust your power it goes up to 100 percent and this goes up to god only knows but uh you'll learn it through trial and error and i you know i write things down um you know but um you definitely want to wear the safety goggles that they send you they do save your eyes from getting all wonky especially if you want to like watch the laser do its thing so let, let's uh check it out and see So this right here, this four inch by four inch image is gonna take an hour to do at 2100 millimeters a minute at 100% power. It's definitely gonna take a while. So yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that. I'll show you guys some stuff that I've already done. And here's a few more of the things I've done. This is one of the best ones, I think. Got that perfect. Likewise, with all like all these turned out perfect. This was on the wood, and again, um, uh, the speed and the power. Um, I cranked it up, and then what I did was took a little foam brush and just kind of dusted off the black charred stuff to get that 3D look, you know. But just goes to show you how deep it'll engrave. And I believe this is only at like 80% power. It's a 5.5 watt laser, so it's not really gonna, you know, cut through anything really, but um, yeah. But just the, the quality. Each one of these took about like an hour or so. That took a little bit longer. That took a little bit longer. It all really depends on the size and the speed, you know. Um, that's something you need to figure out on your own, the speed versus the power ratio and but i mean the quality is just uh impeccable for the detail and stuff like the standard diy kit so but i, I love it like <laughs> i love it so yeah and then on the light burn it'll, it shows you how long you have how long it's been engraving for you pause it and if you want to walk away from it like i did you can pause it and then restart it so like press pause literally stops in its track and you just resume it picks up where it left off pretty cool stuff yeah guys uh the algo laser go check them out at algolasers.com links in the description below for them uh, in the next video i will go through the materials that they sent me um, they sent me some acrylic, some plastic, aluminum, brass, um, little other pieces of wood. And um, I'll show you guys how that Mike Myers turned out. So, until next time, keep cutting, stay screwing, and have a good one. Tool Junkie 555716, over and out. Whoosh.